Hello everybody and welcome to part two of our intermediate Python programming tutorial series. In this video we're going to be talking about string operations like string concatenation and string formatting. These are some things that at least I personally didn't do very well and I don't think, I think when you're learning basics you just learn the simplest way to do it. So uh, to begin let's start with a list of names and we're going to say uh, we've got a Jeff, we've got a Gary, We've got a Jill, and we have a Samantha. Just for the record, I'll try to mention PIP8 the first time that we cover it. Uh, but in a list, you just have your item, comma, space. And then spaces around all equal signs, except when you're putting them in function parameters, just for the record. Anyway, um, so those are that's our name our list of names. So if we, let's say we want to iterate over this list and we want to say hello there and then the name of this person, you might say something like this, like for name in names print. Um, and then we would say like, hello there, comma space, uh, or, well, we could do at this point, we could say plus spaces around your pluses, uh, name like that. You could also do hello there, no space, and then do a common name. Pull this down. And you see, hello there, Jeff, hello there, Gary, Jill, Samantha, and all that. So, depending on who you talk to, this is either the correct way or the incorrect way. In terms of readability, this is the most correct way uh, because it's easily understood. Now, there's a second way to do this. And again, depending on who you talk to, there can be an argument as far as what's the right way. It really doesn't matter. You should just go with what you're more comfortable with, but I'll show you when the second way is essential. So um, instead we could say print and um, trying to decide if I, yeah, this will be fine. So print and then we'll do um, a space between the quotations and then we are going to join and then in join you put a list of things that you're going to join together and it's a space will be between these things that we join so you would write you know hello there and then a comma and then the name so I'll comment this out now and then we'll run it maybe there we go that took a while Let's see if I can get rid of that Y there we go um, okay, so you got, oh, well, we didn't, we didn't get our comma, but we can just add that in. Okay, so, so it's the same thing, but if you ask me, the first one is just so much more readable, and I'm not really sure that it's worth the performance gain um, here, and as Python changes over time, these are things, like, subtle things like these that really are going to change uh, by Python even version sometimes. So in some senses, this they might be like, the difference is probably just extremely negligible. You'll get away with it. But the difference is when, say you've got a list of strings or really anything, and you want to just print them out as a string, print that list as a string. Of course you could do string names and just print that. Uh, but let's say instead you actually want to just print the list of the names as a string. So that might look something like, let me just comment this out, whoops, comment this out. And that might look like, um, oops, not again. Um, we will join uh, just as a comma, dot join, and then names is a list, so we're fine. Let's run that. Um, and in fact, let's do comma space. There you go. So now we've got Jeff, Gary, Jill, Smith. Okay, so that that works. Is it easily readable? Uh, if you know how join works, then sure, it's 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 readable. But if you don't know how join works, that's not readable at all. Uh, but when it comes to concatenating strings, join is preferable when you're joining more more than two strings. Uh, some people will argue that maybe it's more than like some number of strings, like when the processing changes. But I think as a general rule of thumb, if you're going to concatenate uh, and truly concatenate, because actually what we're doing here, we are concatenating, but we're still actually kind of doing the wrong thing in both of these examples. I'll show you the right thing soon enough. But probably this isn't even the right way to go about it. 
But if you're concatenating two or more than two, not two, <laughs> two or more. So basically all concatenation, no. Uh, if you're concatenating more than two strings, you probably should be using join purely because it's going to scale better. It's gonna use less processing. Now, while we're on the topic of join, I wanna show one more thing that join can be used for, or at least the idea of join. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and import OS, and then we're gonna say, like, consider that you have um, a file located somewhere. So let's say we've got location of file, and I actually have a file here so it'll work. You can either create a random text file somewhere and just put something in the text file, or you can just watch, it doesn't really matter. Um, so C colon double backslash, because it's Windows, doing Windows things. So Windows likes to use backslashes, so we use backslash backslash to escape the backslash um, character. Anyway, H backslash backslash, desktop backslash backslash, intermediate Python. So that's the location of, actually let's say it's the location of files, because probably if it was just a file, you would just give the one off path and you'd be fine. But let's say it's an example where maybe you're gonna iterate through all the files in some sort of os.lister format. So you're listing out the dir, you get the file names, and then you wanna open them up. So you're gonna start with the location of the file, and then you're gonna grab that file name. Let's say the file name, well, it is in my case, example.txt. It's tempting to, let's say we're just gonna print, we're not gonna open it right now, but it might be tempting to say location of files, plus, um, actually let's do the backslash backslash to be all proper here, um, plus file name. So that's really tempting to do, right? And then boom, yeah, you've got the full file path. Um, but again, that's not the right way to go about it. And a lot of times, especially with join, uh, you're gonna have maybe more than this because each directory could in theory be its own little string and there's actually going to be a lot of times where you might use that if you are working in the in the system itself. Um, so you wouldn't necessarily have a full path. You might be actually joining C colon users H. Well, probably not C colon slash. Let's say you're joining users to H to desktop to intermediate Python and so on. Um, but this will just be a single join. Um, the way that we can actually do that instead is you'll see something like this, like with open. And then we're going to say os.path.join. It's going to work just like the other join, only it's just going to automatically add the little slashes for us. So join, come on, man, location of files, uh, and then the file name, which has an underscore. Um, and then uh, with open. Uh, since we're just going to read, we don't have to specify how we're going to open it. So as F, and then we're just going to print F.read, save and run that. And that's the contents. So it just says, oh, hi there. Great. So that's join. And we still have one last thing, and that's going to be string formatting. So actually, um, the location of files, that's, a, that's what you would do, really. You would use a join. You're not going to use string formatting. But now... This, this top one with Jeff, Gary, and all that, um, that was probably, that would, it would make more sense to use string formatting most likely with that, but I just wanted to show a really simple example. So let's go ahead and talk about string formatting now. So let's say you wanna have a sentence with the following variables. Let's say who equals Gary, um, and then how many will equal 12. And we're hoping for a sentence to say something like, Gary bought 12 apples today, okay, uh, where Gary is the variable and 12 is also a variable. So this can be really tempting to do the following, like, um, uh, in fact, let's do sentence equals something and then we'll just print the sentence. So let's say, you know, you might want to say like, who comma, um, bought comma, how many, comma, let's add the spaces after these. We'll be pep eight, guys. <laughs> um, actually, we need this to go in the print statement. <laughs> the format will work, but this won't work. So anyways, who bought how many, uh, and then uh, we'll say apples, and then space today. All right, so we can run that. 
And that might be one way. You might also, rather than the commas, you might add the spaces and then use the plus to each his own. But that's wrong. And once upon a time, you could use the percent %s for string formatting, and that was thought to be the, the best way to do it. Uh, that's no more. Uh, instead, what we have are the curly braces. Why did it do that? Interesting. I don't know why. It, that's a comment, so the fact that it would error there. I don't know. That's interesting. Why is that happening? Anyway, um, not there. Just on the comment. Anyway, <laughs> um, idle. Typical. So the real way you should do this is print, and then you would say um, just empty brackets, space, bot, empty brackets, apples today. And then you will say dot format, and then just throw in all of the parameters. In this case, we just have two, which is who and how many. So we can run that. And we should get the same sentence. Good. So both of them, Gary bought 12 apples today. This is, for the moment, the correct way to do string formatting. Um, if you're following along and you're in Python 2, you have to give like values, like so 1 and 2. And I think it'll work in 3. No, that's not going to work. I wonder if I have to put this. I'm not sure how to do it in two, but just know if you're following along in two, stop that, upgrade to three. But if you refuse, um, there's something specific about Python 2 with string formatting. String formatting. Let's see if I can find it really quick. Come on, someone give me an example. So, oh, haha, I said one, two. Okay, yeah, duh. All right, so zero, one. Let's run it. Boom. Okay. So you can do zero, 01. So in theory, you could say instead 10 and let's see if the functionality runs through and it says, yeah, 12 bot Gary apples today. So you, if you want to do order, I'm not sure why you would really need to do that. I guess it's a little more explicit, but it's unnecessary if you ask me. Um, but in Python 2, you'll have to use the index values. I can't believe I tried 1, 2. Oh, come on, man. Anyway. I need to go back to the basics and learn that lists start with zero with. <laughs> anyway, uh, okay, so that's string formatting and um, why you should upgrade to Python 3. So you don't have to put numbers in the curly braces. I mean, come on. So anyway, that's enough on string formatting. Since I have it up, I mean, there is a ton of stuff you can do. First of all, you can upgrade to 3. Oh, yeah. Looking good. Okay, so there's a ton of stuff that we can do with string formatting. What I just showed you was like really basic, um, but these this is these are two things that I see violated the most, and I personally violated the most myself. Uh, just concatenation with pluses or commas, um, especially with file names. I was really happy when I found out about os.path.join. Uh, also, just string formatting with the curly braces that works. I think it's very readable. Um, that's the way to go. That's the most scalable way. So uh, that's string formatting. That's all for now. If you have questions, comments, concerns, whatever, feel free to leave them below. Otherwise, till the next video.